Hey guys, what's up? Been a long time. Um, I just wanted to give a quick rundown of pretty much how this season ended. And despite the record and despite some of the toughness that we went through this year, I'm not disappointed. I'm very satisfied with how the season went. Getting to witness the final season game, the final home game, and Rich Jenneret's final call, it was absolutely amazing to witness it, to be there live, getting to meet Dwayne for the first time in person, and just basically being there to witness RJ, to thank everybody, to hear his voice throughout the game, and to just witness the end of a great career of the greatest play-by-play -play announcer ever to bless Sabres hockey, but also bless the National Hockey League. You know, guys, I gotta be dead honest with you. There was moments where we've had chances to win games and we didn't win it. And there was chances that we had good leads, we blew them. And we had to deal with a lot of obstacles, especially with injuries, concentrating on basically bringing up these players that we feel like had the potential to be great players, you know, and are still building on such successful years that they had this year. For prime example, Rasmus Dahlin, Tage Thompson, Jeff Skinner bouncing back after two sloppy years under Kruger. I don't think he got well along well with Kruger, so I feel like that's, you know, that was the issue. But there was a lot of guys I feel like we mean to make sure that stay, and but there's quite a bit of a handful of guys that either are just gonna go because we can replace them easily, or you know they just didn't have good enough years, you know, good enough years to you know prove that they could be on this team full time. <laughs> and I'll give a rundown on players that of who I think should stay and who should go in another video, but um, I have to say. I'm totally satisfied with this season, with all, with all, especially with all the incredible moments and incredible games that we've had this year. And I'll do a maybe a top ten list of games that happened this year that I felt like that were turning points for this franchise. It, you know, for hopefully next year and the years to come. Um, as we all know, the playoffs are going on right now, and. The draft lottery happens tomorrow, and we got three first-rounders coming up in this draft. And I tell you guys, I'm excited. Who knows what Kevin Adams might do? You know, we may take one pick. We may take all three picks. We may trade maybe two of them or one of them. You know, this should be an interesting draft this year. And I'm looking forward to who we could possibly pick up in the offseason. Will we pick up another goaltender? Is this the end for Dustin Dekarski and some other goaltenders that were going to be free agents going into this offseason? We've got a lot of unrestricted free agents going into this offseason. And there's a couple, I feel like, in my opinion, that, sh that we should hold on to, that we should consider resigning. And... It Guys, you know, for the fact that I got to enjoy a lot of games in person and I got to enjoy making this YouTube channel and I'm so gl grateful to have over 100 subscribers to my channel within the first year. So all you guys who have subscribed to my channel and hopefully all of you people in the future who do, I am so blessed and so grateful for all of your support this year. And I couldn't ask for anything more. It's been... It's it's an uplift. I'll say that. It's been an uplift this year compared to what we've dealt with as fans the last few years. Um, do I think that you know trading away Jack Eichel and not having a part of the team made all the difference? It partially. You know, we could complain about it, uh, you know, on and on and on, but guess what? He's traded. He's in Vegas. It's over. Are we happy he didn't make the playoffs? It's kind of funny, you know, but... I do not try to wish the worst on people. Like, I'm glad Sam Reinhart right now is having a run with Florida in the playoffs right now. Um, it's a shame that we couldn't hold on to some of these guys that I wish we could have. But we showed we got some great up, up and young coming talent. You know, 
up in Rochester, who's right now in the playoffs. They just swept um, Belleville, and now are going up against Utica on Tuesday. And I feel like it's starting to make a turnaround for Buffalo sports. It's already started with the Bills. I'm hoping it's starting to bleed now into the Sabres organization. And, guys, it's just hopefully going to be greater times and better days you know in the future for our hockey franchise another thing is too is that i'm gonna give you know you guys hopefully a tour of the room because it's changed a lot since the one video that i made earlier in the season which was about eight maybe nine months ago um there's a lot of other things i've collected a lot of things that i gathered up during the off season and during the regular season and you know the room is just looking phenomenal now you know, I couldn't ask for a better dream man slash man cave <laughs> when it comes to my passion and love for not just the sport for the Buffalo, or but also for the Buffalo Sabers. Um, and you can see I'm wearing my military appreciation jersey in this one. Um, guys, I'm so grateful for Tage Thompson for the year he had. Alex Tuck bringing just the passion and the fire into the locker room and the atmosphere in our city. You know, being considered being a hometown boy, Alex Tuck. And, oh, let's not forget, too, Bandits in the run right now in the playoffs. You know, got to give a shout-out to your Buffalo Bandits. Um, you know, Buffalo Bisons, season's underway, too. Hopefully, you know, they'll have a deep run like they had last year. Um, I, I'm just proud and happy to be a Buffalonian, and I'm happy to be a Sabres fan. Good or bad, I'm sticking with this team. I'm passionate. And I'm pretty sure you Buffalo Sabres fans out there watching, you guys are passionate about this too, and you're looking forward to the draft, the free agent signings, the offseason, and the upcoming season. What is Kevin Adams going to do? What is this front office going to do? And it should be exciting if Don Granato can make that push to push this team even further. Um... I'll give overall grades and what my personal opinion is on most players on the team. They're still going to be there. Players that are possibly leaving that I think should stay. Um, but uh, the hockey guy just recently made a video of you know why Buffalo Sabres missed the playoffs. Well, we all knew that this was a rebuild year. And to be quite honest, it was the best rebuild year I've ever seen. <laughs> um... You know, despite all the years that we were trying to tank to get Connor McDavid, you know, Connor McDavid or like Aaron Eckblad or the pretty much the number one pick, but we always ended up getting number two. Um, but it's getting late, guys, and I wanted to make another video because I haven't made one in a while. It's been almost two weeks. Um, so for your guys' pleasure. Give me your opinions on what you think of this season and what we should do during the off season. And, you know, I just am looking forward to the game reactions and Sabres fan reactions to next year. And I'm hoping to get a little better at it. And I'm hoping to be much more productive, much more detailed, and hopefully I don't make long-ass videos and I take up too much of your guys' time try to get right to the point. In closing, you guys, I'm just going to say thank you all for watching me this year and hopefully to have some videos going on during the off-season. Not much what I will do, but hopefully to have more videos about guys who were Sabres but here for a short time. You know, but hopefully get some giggles out of that. Um, also, some possibly a video about the draft lottery tomorrow. And, you know, a couple of our videos that I've possibly mentioned in this video. But in closing, I'm not going to say anything except this. Because I feel like that somebody else should say towards the end of this video, but... Adios. Last one to leave. Turn off the lights. And that'll be it for Sayers Fan Reaction for this year. So in conclusion, I'll let Rick say. Seven Buffalo Sabres proved to the hockey world that to get respect, you have to earn it. You have to fight for it. They were the talk around the league.
And having kept this club largely intact, it's no telling how far they might go this year. It's all about desire. Desire to win. The players, the entire organization, appreciate your support. I'm Rick Jenneret, and I can't wait to start the new season. Let's get cracking. Take care, you guys. Adiós.